everyone, and welcome to this little video that I am, that I am uh, showing off right now. And this here is a little update to the Banjo Dreamy ROM. Because something that you may recall, as I've mentioned in, uh, you know, during my Let's Play, I had mentioned that Logo actually did an update to his uh, ROM, and I'm going to show off those updates. All right, so first off, in this tunnel right here, let me go into view mode, there is this sign that shows that the bee is not allowed to go in this direction. And that pretty much gives the indication that the bee will transform back automatically upon going through there. Oh. Yeah, I hate it when I uh, activate the wrong thing. Alright, and there is also such a sign right here that shows that the bee transformation can't go this way either. And there's also the occasional uh, case where the emulator will just pause for a second. And that sort of thing did happen the first time that I played this game. And Logo said that it had to do with the memory, and he said that it needed to be set to... Oh, dang it. Fell all the way down here. I did not mean for that to happen. And I did not mean for that to happen. And I think that what the memory thing has to do with is that the memory needs to be set to... 8 MB, which I did check, and it is set to 8 MB, but I don't know why it still does the whole stopping thing. It didn't do that during my playthrough of this game. So, now here we are in Night and Day Dale, and there's a No Bees Are Allowed Here sign, and also over here. Wouldn't it be great if you could have signs like that in real life and expect the bees to actually follow along with it? Now, here we are in Night and Day Dale, and as you may recall if you've watched through my Let's Play, that in the original, this area right here was entirely, or most of it, was set at night. Yeah, we... This area is still counted as a level, but it's now only counted as part of Day... Daybreak Barracks. This entire area right here, as Nightfall Fortress, is now considered its own area. So, it, this part right here is a little brighter than the original one was. I thought I got that Mumbo token. Yeah, a little brighter than the original one was. In fact, when I uh, actually started up this... Uh, save file. It turned out that it carried over all of the data from the first playthrough of Banjo Dreamy that I have done, which doesn't really make all that much sense though. I'm not quite sure why that whole stopping thing still happens. Now, I did enter uh, this Nightfall Fortress a bit earlier to see what would happen. And it just opens up, almost as if it's just the same area of the same level again. So yeah, that's pretty much how uh, this ROM has been updated. So, pretty much, I probably could have just did Nightfall Fortress last rather than just, you know, doing that and then doing some things over on this side. But anyway, I just thought that I'd show that all off. I've already done the Let's Play though, so... There's not really much to really say in regards to it. I just really wish that I could find some way to make the whole stopping thing not go on. Like with the original, uh, ROM. But I just thought... <clears throat> I just thought that I'd show those things off just to let you know what exactly had changed between, uh, versions. But anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching, and 
I'm going to go back to doing my Let's Play on Super Mario Star Road. I am still doing that Let's Play right now, but I just thought that I'd do this little video right here to show off the little changes that were made. So, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you during my Super Mario Star Road Let's Play. Bye-bye.